let's take a look how to set your margins. The default is set up for a one inch top bottom as well as a one inch left and right. I'm going to click on the page layout tab. In the page setup group, I'm going to go to margins. I have some uh, settings that are already uh, set up for me, such as the narrow. If I click on that, that's going to give me quickly a top one or half an inch and bottom left right margins. All I have to do is go back to margins and I may want a wide and that will bring my left and right margins in very quickly. This is great for brochures and then I can go back and have it set up for mirrored which is very uh, cool and narrow. So as you see it's very easy to just pick a predefined setting. If there's nothing here that you like, you can go down to Custom Margins and it pulls up your dialog box. In this dialog box, you can use your incrementing buttons to increase or decrease and you work with the individual settings for the top, bottom, left, right margins. Once that's all done, you just click on your OK command and your margins are set. If I go back to margins and go back down to custom margins, let's say that your company is always working with these settings and you don't want to have to be doing this every time you create a document. What you can do is set everything up and then go down to the bottom left hand corner of your dialog box and click where it reads set as default and then that would become your default settings. If not, when you make a change and click on OK, it will only be for that one document. If I create a new document, I'm always going to go back to the default settings. So if I click on Page Layout and go to Margins and go down to Custom Margins, you can see I'm back to one inch top, bottom, left, and right. Let us look how to print a document. Make sure your document's opened. Click on the tab called File and then move your mouse to Print. What you're going to see is a print preview of your document off to the right and at the very bottom it will show you what page you're on. So I'm on page one of two. If I want to go to the next page I just click on the little feature, the right symbol and then go back to the previous page and click on the left symbol. I have the zoom slider off to the right. By clicking on the plus symbol I can zoom in or the minus symbol or zoom out. I also have the peg that I can drag to zoom in and zoom out. Let's go to the left to see what our features are here for printing. We have copies which is set to 1. We can increase or decrease that by using the incrementing button. Make sure that your document is going to the printer that you want. Some of us may have more than one printer to choose from, so all you do is click on the drop down and select the printer that you're going to be sending your document to. Settings, print all pages. So if I was to click on print, all the pages will be printed. I may want only certain pages to print, so I would select the drop down and go down to print custom range. I have print current page and that would just be the page that you see in print preview but print custom range when you click on that you would move to the pages text box and there's a little description showing you how to print specific pages or range. So for example if I want pages 2 and 6 and 8 I would put a comma to separate those individual pages. If I want pages 2 through 8, I would put a dash. I also can print on one sided. I can collate, change my orientation, make sure you set up for the right paper size and your margins. If you need to make any changes, you can always go into Page Setup right here and change your margins or your orientation. 
Once everything is set, all you do is click on print.